Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss prerequisite for a sampling theory. In particularly, I will focus on the questions what is population and sample? What is aim of the sample? Then I will discuss some statistical terms like mean, variance and standard deviation. Then finally, we will see some useful notations. Now proceed with first question. What is population and sample? First population. It is the group of objects or individuals under study or analysis. For example, population in the country or all trees in the forest or rainfall in the country can be considered as examples of population. Now we see what is sample. It is part of the objects or individuals selected from the population for the study. For example, people with higher income can be considered as sample for population in the country. Or trees per square kilometer in the forest can be considered as sample of the trees in the forest. Or rainfall in a specific area of the country can be considered as sample for the rainfall in the entire country. Note that the process of selection of a sample is called as sampling theory. Now we proceed for the next question. What is aim of the sample? Generally, population parameters like mean, variance are not known or difficult to find out. Therefore, we utilize sample characteristic to approximately determine or estimate the population. For example, to test whether person is infected by a disease, small sample of the blood is tested. Similarly, to test soil at farms, we take samples. In water testing also, we take sample of the water. Also, in per capita income of the country, we take sample of few people in the country. I hope you understood what is aim of the sample. Now we proceed for some statistical terms. First in the list is mean. It is defined as the average of the given numbers or the sum of all the given data values divided by the total number of data values given in the set. It can be formulated as mean is equal to sum of all the observations divided by total number of observations. In terms of notations, it can be written as x bar is equal to summation xi upon n. For example, if your data set is x is equal to set of all natural numbers from 1 to 10, then its mean x bar is summation xi upon n, which is same as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 10 whole divided by 10. I found here x bar is 5.5. Now we see what is variance. It is the measurement of how far each number in the data set is from mean or it is the measure of dispersion that takes into account the spread of all data points in the data set or it is the average of the square distances of each data point from the mean. It can be formulated as follows. It is denoted by sigma square and is defined as summation of xi minus x bar the whole square where i runs from 1 to n whole divided by n where x bar is mean of the data set. For example, consider the same set x which we took earlier whose x bar was 5.5, then its variance sigma square can be given as 1 minus 10 the whole square plus 2 minus 10 the whole square and so on up to 10 minus 10 the whole square whole divided by 10, which I found equal to 8.25. So this is the variance of the given set. Note that if the variance is 0, that is sigma square is 0, it means all the numbers in the data set are same. There is no variability. I hope you understood this statistical term called as variance. Now we proceed for third, which is standard deviation. It is the degree of dispersion or the scatter of the data points relative to mean. It tells us how the values are spread across the data sample. It is given by sigma, which is square root of sigma square and is defined as square root of summation xi minus x bar the whole square where i runs from 1 to n whole divided by n. Let us calculate standard deviation for the same set. We have already seen 
its mean is 5.5 and its variance is 8.25 so its standard deviation that is square root of variance is given by under root of 8.25 which is equal to 2.872 i hope you understood all the three statistical terms now let us see some useful notations first we see how we denote size if we are dealing with population size is denoted by capital letter n and if you are dealing with sample then its size is given by small letter n when you are talking about mean of the population it is given by mu and when you are talking about mean of the sample it is denoted by x bar similarly standard deviation of population is given by sigma and standard deviation of sample is given by s i hope you will remember these notations now let us proceed to see the formulas of standard deviation of population and sample standard deviation of population is given by sigma is equal to under root of summation xi minus mu the whole square whole divided by n where i runs from 1 to n and standard deviation of the sample given by s is equal to under root of summation xi minus x bar the whole square upon n minus 1 where i runs from 1 to n note that here mu is population mean n is size of the population x bar is sample mean and n is size of the sample since both of these formulas denote standard deviation then why there is a difference of n and n minus 1 why we used n minus 1 instead of n in sample standard deviation the reason is when we take sample from the population we do not know the true population mean that is mu instead we estimate it using sample mean x bar here however this introduces some error because x bar is typically not equal to mu meaning the sample variance tends to underestimate the true population variance using n minus 1 instead of n corrects this biasness making the sample variance an unbiased estimator of the population variance this correction is known as bessel's correction that is why there is a difference of formulas here we are using n minus 1 in sample standard deviation and here we are using n in standard deviation of the population i hope guys you understood all the prerequisite things that i discussed in this video in my next video i am going to discuss what is sample distribution till then keep watching my videos thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos